just pulled into a little uh, arbour sitting off the road going to Glencore. Have a look at this. Very windy at Glencore Boating Club. Take a look at this. It's just off the main road in a big pulling. It's like a viewing point for the boating club. But that rain is coming down. I pull in at the side of the road when I see some nice waterfalls coming from the mountain. Look at that everybody, coming down from the mountains. What a beautiful thing to see that. Look at that. Let me just go back a minute. I'm in the van you see, start to fall up. Look at that. Coming all the way from the mountains. Get that bottled up, fresh water. Further up the road, I see more waterfalls. Very, very bad rain here. It's like a storm. Can you see it? Watch the storm. Go out to this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm stepping about. Very, very bad. Yeah, it's got a yellow weather warning round here. All the way around this area, so. I'm just gonna get my window up a minute. Did you see that for a waterfall? Amazing. Coming down from the mountains.
I get back on to the main A82 and drive through Glencoe Mountain Road. Glencore Visitor Centre but due to the rain and the bad weather everything's closed even the visitor centre and there's workmen working all over the site so I decide to pull in and just make a quick brew but I didn't stay there long I just had a brew and I ended up leaving to look for a place to park up tonight plus a, a good place to park up where it's sheltered because it was heavy rain and heavy wind I turn off the main A82 and I find a park up for the night. See, there you go. I do eat. Right. I'm at a park up now. Just outside Glencoe. The weather was that bad. Going through Glencoe, it was horrendous. From Fort William, all the way on the A82, to the outskirts of Glencoe, there were some cracking park ups, but there were no chance I was staying out in the open with gale force winds and torrential rain. As you'll see, as you'd seen in the video, 
all the water, all the rivers were they were building up. The weather today has been horrendous. But you know what? It doesn't bother me because I'm in here. I'm not outside. I got outside a few, quite a few times to film. I got absolutely soaking wet. I come out, just come on the edge of the Glencore, coming out of it. We see signs for Loch Lomond. I'll get the name of the village, what I'm parked up in. But I'm parked up, sheltered really, as you'll see in the video tomorrow morning. I'll video around like I usually do. I'm tucked in with edges at back and it's like a big pulling where the farm gate is but I've pulled at the other side of the farm gate so yeah it's bang on there's a train station across the road but no houses round here except for down in the village Like I say today, well, last night when I was parked up in Fort William, it started raining about three o'clock. It didn't stop raining until about three o'clock this afternoon. 24 hours of heavy rain it were. And we're passing over Glencore and everything and visiting that village you did. Right. I had no reception on the internet or anything. Now down in the village there's a park up, a good park up as well. But no internet. And I needed to do some editing and, and make a few phone calls. But here I've got full 5G. I know you might see the video tomorrow and think what's he parked there for? When they're Glencore and all them good park ups. Well, I've told you before, Glencore, it was torrential rain and high winds. I would have loved to have stopped there, but no chance. I'm not, I've been for days and days, but don't, with bad weather. But don't forget, I've had some good weather as well. The Scottish road trip might be coming to an end, but my life doesn't come to an end living in this van. I'll be still places, travelling here and there, living in this van, and I'll be still making videos and everything. I hope you all like my videos, and I know I keep saying it, and I'm like a broken record, is I can't thank you enough for all the messages and subscribers. Right everybody, I'm going to wash the pots, sort everything out in here and chill out. Catch you tomorrow. Bye bye. Morning. Well, this is where I pulled in last night to get off the A82 to shelter a bit because it was very heavy rain and wind. So I was just show you a quick scan round before I set off. Here we go. It's nothing special. It's like a walk up that way. You see, yeah. And I'm not blocking the gate, you see. I was talking to someone coming out and they said, if you park on that side, it's okay. That's where I've parked the Van Columbus. There's a railway station opposite, that's it. They run out of once in a blue moon, really. I'm off the main road, but it's just a road going to a village down there. So... Yeah. So yeah, yeah, good night's sleep here. You don't even see anybody on the road. Very quiet. Very quiet. There's a station. Main road's only about half a mile up the road. So here we go. Let's get back on the road. Let's do some mileage and get 
to the next destination. See you later. I'm going to call in at Walt Lomond. I'm going to find a place to park up and give it a quick film round. Let's get on our way. I'm at Loch Lomond Shores now. It's quite a big place. I'm parked in a car park. I'm going to go and film round. I'm going to put my trainers on and everything. Get my coat on. My hat on. Because it is a bit, it is quite cold. But lucky enough, no rain today. No rain, no wind. I'm just putting my trainers on now. Well, yesterday I was going down the A82 at Glencore and a big, a big storm hit the windscreen at the bottom. There's a crack in the windscreen now. So I've just rung up my insurance and they're getting it sorted. I'm just tying my shoelaces. I was just putting my trainers on, tying my laces in them. Right, I've got my coat. I'm not putting the famous hat on, I'm putting this uh, woolen one on. Get the tools of the trade. And let's go and have a look round. Come on. Lock Loman Shores, I'm at. A big centre. It's in Bollock. Ballock, something like that. It's in Ballock. Uh, this is the car parks. There's quite a few of them. I've parked on the main one, which is quite busy. But it's nearest to it, you see. If you look in the far distance, you can see all the car parks, all different ones. So let's have a walk down. That's the other car park there. And the coaches and everything. It gets quite busy here in summer. And there's some shops and everything, but I'll show you around anyway. So let's get to the water and have a look about. Black Lomond. See the boats in the distance here. But if you look over there, there's the old ferry. He's in dry dock at the moment. Can you see it? It's in dry dock at the moment, having repairs done on it. Probably getting it done in winter, you see. There's some boats you can hire out as well. Pedal boats as well. And there are the shops, uh, can you see? All different types of shops anyway. I'm gonna have a walk down. That's for when it's opening, spring, summer, all the stuff you can do. This is from the other side of the lock. Quite big, isn't it? I've been here before, but I've not been to this place. I've been to Lock Lomond, and that is the Sea Life Centre there. So it's all right if you bring your kids or something, or you'd want to have a look around, see Life Centre, bang on. Quiet, but obviously it's only January. Can you see all the shops here? I'll just zoom in. Can you see? Can you see all the shops here? All different types of shops. House of Fraser, Sports Direct. There's a lot not open because I think they're only opening when it's in season. A lot of them. But yeah, nice place. There's a jetty to get onto the ferry. Well, the weather's starting to set in now. Fine rain. And the wind's picking up. 
I'm walking back to the Van Columbus anyway, so there's birds of prey, sanctuary and everything up there. But yeah, so I'll catch you later. There we are. There we are, we're walking back to the Columbus now. Yeah, I've got to get that windscreen sorted next week. So I'll be heading back shortly. Tuesday to do it, I think. They're going to get back to me after. But I'll show you now. But the crack's travelling upwards now. So here we go. I'll show you in anyway. Can you see where it's hit? It's hit there and it's travelling up now. So it's got to be done. Yeah, the crack has to be done. It has to be a new screen in it. I mean, Shewin said it's going to be a new windscreen. Because if I'm on my travels, I don't want it going on me. So I'm going to get in now and get warm. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Right, folks. I'm going to head out of Scotland now. I've got a quite a few hours drive. Get on the motorway. I'm going to head towards Carlisle. Yeah, I'm going to find... I know... A good park up in Carlisle. So that's where I'm heading. So thank you for watching the video. And I respect you all. So I'll catch you later. And my next vlog will be out very soon. Bye bye.